Okay, <clears throat> I've been living in my apartment for about a month, maybe a little over a month, and I'm going to use the kitchenette for the first time tonight. So, this is not a Yarase video. Yarase is, uh, I guess it, it means like fake or made up or staged. So, there are a lot of TV shows in Japan which are, um, I don't want to say they're reality shows, but documentaries or news reports where people uh, basically uh, stage activities in order to, to make a, a report. So this is not staged. This is um, actually the first time I'm going to use the kitchenette. Uh, I've washed some things in the sink and I've filled the cupboards, but I have never actually used the this thing. So here's the storage space. Uh, as you know, Japan is famous for being extremely small so here's my front door here's um i don't know what this is this is an alcove i guess this is kind of tokonoma i'll 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 put a link to tokonoma in the description of the video um so if you don't know what tokonoma is you can read about it but i guess that space is for tokonoma then there's some shelving units down here this is my refrigerator I think this is smaller than what most college students have in their dorm room. Um, this is m one of my kitchen cupboards, but I don't have any other storage space, so I have to put, like, uh, wash powder and toiletries in here. Um, I have next to the sink, I have this thing. Uh, here's my, the only cupboards I have for dishes. Um, this, this is what probably people imagine when they, before they move to Japan, they think like, oh, I'm going to be eating off of these um, wonderful dishes and uh, just, you'll be eating with uh, chopsticks. I normally keep my chopsticks over here along with my wood and stuff. Um, this is not how Japanese people normally live. So I've gone out of my way to not have Western things, but most Japanese people just use Western plates now. And uh, they do use chopsticks, but um, for the most part, just Western uh, tableware. So here's the here's the the burner. I'm going to try turning this on for the first time. There's two switches here. Um, I did turn these on a second ago. This one turns on a red light. Oh, now it's green. I have no idea what this means. I Oop, now it's blue. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, hopefully it's not going to explode. Um, the other one turns on a fan, so I'll keep that off for the time being. I assume this is going to turn on the heater. So, as you can see, I have no grill or stove. Uh, so how, how do I broil fish? I don't. Luckily, I like sashimi. How do I cook a pizza? Well, that's a good question. Let's find out. Okay. So here's my, um, skillet. I've never used this before. This is my first time with the skillet. Mmm, nice smell. It already, it smells like there's something burning. Um, so what I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shut off the video for a second here. I'm going to take this, uh, about this pizza. I'm going to take it out of the package and we're going to try cooking a pizza in a skillet. Mm, interesting, huh? Okay, so I've got the pizza out of the package. Um, I've made these before in my last apartment where I, I did have a, a small broiler. Um, so I, I know that they can be cooked thoroughly. This one, I think, is going to be a disaster. I'm just going to pop it into the pan here. And I'm kind of assuming that the top is not going to get cooked. Ideally, maybe if I had aluminum foil, I could put aluminum foil over the top, and that would keep the heat in and melt the cheese. But uh, I don't have that, so I'm just going to try and brown up the bottom, maybe get it a little hard, and I think as long as the bottom is cooked, it's going to be edible. So I think this needs to be turned down 
a little more, turn down maybe as much as possible. And I'm also going to turn on the fan because uh, it's starting to smell bad. So I'll come back and show you when it's either destroyed or edible. Okay, I lied. So it's not done cooking yet, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, I'm drinking some Tory Premium Malts. I was very disappointed this evening in the grocery store to see Tsing Tao, which was prominently displayed in the craft beer section of the uh, grocery store. A very large Tsing Tao uh, display. And the only thing I can imagine is that this is pandering to the large amount of Chinese tourists who are coming to Kyoto now. I was quite disappointed. So I'll put a, I'll put a picture of the Tsing Tao up here. Okay, it's been a really long time now, so this is not done yet. The cheese is getting melty, but um, the crust is still really doughy. The crust on the bottom, though, as you can see, is getting getting rock hard. So the crust on the bottom is ready, and the power has been on for a really long time now, and I, I don't like to use too much power, so I'm going to go ahead and eat a doughy pizza. Sounds delicious, doesn't it?